Another skill that we need to have with our functions is being able to look at a graph and determine if a graph is a function. Now, once you've done this a couple times, you, you'll be able to do this very quickly. Remember, the definition of, an, of a function is for each x value, it corresponds to exactly one y. So I'm looking at this function right here. It's just a v. It's called an absolute value function. You don't need to know that right now. So here is an x value. And so here's the question. How many y values go with that x value? So I look up and down, and I notice that for this x value, there's only one y value, that point right there. And I can repeat that as many times as I want. Here is a, here's another x value. If I look up and down, again, there's only one y value. And so you see, I am making a series of vertical lines. And so the test to determine if a graph is a function is called the vertical line test. If a vertical line hits the graph one point every time, it is a function. And so my absolute value, because as I take my vertical line, the pen is going to be the best vertical line I have, it hits the graph one point every time I, I lay the vertical line down. So this right here is a function. Now, we also want to talk about domain and range. Now, notice this is not just a listing of some distinct points. This is a graph. It's an infinite number of points. So when I write my domain and my range, they are going to be intervals. So remember, domain is my x values. So I look left and right. And so what's the furthest left this graph is going to go? Well, according to the arrow on the end, it's going to go left forever and ever. So negative infinity. And then you look to the right. How far right is this graph going to go? Well, again, the arrow says it's going to keep jetting off into space like that. So it goes to positive infinity. And so what that means is that's the fancy way to write all real numbers. Okay? All values are, are in the domain of this function. Now my range, my y values, I look up and down. So what's the furthest down this graph goes? The lowest y value. Well, as I trace my finger down, I notice the lowest y value is here at negative 1. And then the largest y value, again, the arrows mean this is going to keep going up. So the largest y value is infinity. Now this, there's a point here at negative 1, so I'm going to use a bracket. My second graph looks like a, a, a circle that's been smushed. So again, I want to do the vertical line test. So here's an x value. And notice what happens here when I draw my vertical line. How many times does that vertical line hit the graph? Once here, once here. So for that x value, it corresponds to two y values, not one. So for that reason, this is not a function. Now, I can still talk about the domain and the range of this, though. The domain, again, is my x values. I'm going to look left and right. So the furthest left this graph goes is negative 3. The furthest right this graph goes is 5. So my interval, negative 3 to 5, is the domain. Then the range, the furthest down this graph goes is negative 4. And the furthest up it goes is positive 2. And there's my domain and range.